guess who's here. Right, um, results of the speed brewing, 50 minute mash, 50 minute boil. There's the bottle, let's get popped and poured. Nice pop. Clear to me. Carbonation is okay. It's only been in the bottle a week, so it's a bit of footage. We'll come back and we'll try this. Okay. Damn. One hour, twenty minutes. So put the yeast in. The cooling just took forever. I had ice water and everything, but just um, the ground water at the moment here is quite warm, so it's. So I've got a sample there, so we'll let it settle and we'll come back. And that's the clean up, I can live with that. Right, got 16 bottles. It came quite clear in the bottling wand. But that's the remnants of it. There's the tilt. It's hardly defunct now for the time being. So um, next time you see this, be on the tasting. Cheers and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, it's David. Um, just subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we'll uh, head on to this. Right, um, just used 2.5 kilograms of pale malt as you saw, so the colour is quite a bit lighter. Um, so carapils malting from the Bible, so we'll just bypass that. So yeah, um, look, pretty clear. One of the um, comments, I think Schnoz, um, Mentioned the clarity may not be there, but that's not too bad to me. Almost looks like a lager, doesn't it, in colour? Um, yeah, so we've got an OG of 1.033 with an FG of 1.006. Did finish out right down and it's quite dry, but it's only 3.6%. So, where did I lose? It was the Sparging probably, although the conversion may have not been as good as a 30 minute mash or a 60 minute mash obviously. Um, I should have perhaps sparged, we only do a batch sparge in a separate vessel and then top it up into the boiler, but there you go, that's by the by. So yeah, we could do that differently. So smell, not loads on the nose, but I've got a bit of a cold, so it's um, got couple of these going out so we'll just see what other people think and the taste it's clean it's crisp it just tastes like a pale ale so I'm happy with the results uh, more than happy and um, what would I do differently it was a cooling took the time it took forever I had an ice bucket and swirling around this that, and the other so yeah um, what did I prove to myself or to prove to you know, others, um, it can be done. You come home, give yourself a, a two hour window, equipment ready, 50 minute ba um, mash, 50 minute boil, we you cleaning up and that, it's um, say two hours, so it is really doable, so give it a go fellas. Um, happy with them results, so yeah. Um, yeah, what's not to like? Success. It's not really dry because it's a full packet of yeast, so it's attenuated right down, and it's um, yeah happy with that. So I think it's 16 bottles. I think once it showed you early on, but yeah, it's a small batch. It's did what I wanted, and they would have even got a um, higher ABV and um, watered it down. So yeah, that's another thing you could do. You could not water it down, 
Um, but next time I'd do it in a no-chill container, just get it down, even overnight, something like that. Bit of yeast the next day because the cooling really just took it. You know, it's still okay, you know, still in a couple of hours, but I just wanted to get it done and dusted. So next time I'll probably do a no-chill. So, that. Cheers, thanks for watching. We'll catch you again.